For anybody that's watched my videos, they'll know that I, I very seldom would do a, you know, three click process and show it to you and then move on. Um, I like to give a bit of understanding and background, mainly because I'd like you to take the technique that I'm showing you and experiment with it and apply it and learn from that. You know, I know there are folk that when they need a feature, they just want to see that, um, you know, so if you're looking for a, a quick solution to get due tones, um, probably this might not be it. Although it's a relatively short video, I'm going to try and keep it under 10 minutes. Um, but let's get on to it. So due tone, what is it? It's this pretty uh, images that you get on uh, Spotify nowadays. I think it's called the Spotify due tone. It's become used so much. They use the cyan and magenta and then you have the green colors, etc. So due tone just means it's two colors. Okay, and I've got this uh, model picture of uh, Pixel, a lovely website for free images. And to save some time, I've already cut out the background here. Um, it's always best to work with a clean background, a neutral background, so that you have a bit more flexibility. Because remember, with dew tone, you're working with two colors. So if you're sitting with a varied color, it's going to have a, an effect on the final product that you're working with. Okay, so let me just show you. This is the original and I cut it out into this here. So I've got a, a mask over here. If I switch the mask off, that's where we have it there. So it's a very rough mask. You can see a bit of not too clean area there, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So we have a, pretty much a cut out a neutral background and we have the object here. Now, Dew tones, as it says, it's two tones. So it's going to have two colors. And we need to tell the, the what we're going to use here. It's called a gradient map over here. We need to tell the gradient map the two colors that it's going to give us, um, where it's going to apply it. And the best way to do that is to give it an option of either being 100% black or 100% white or it could be shades in between. But if we use a color image, color images are known to have millions of different uh, levels of shading with skin tones, with clothing, etc. So what we first got to do is take the image and convert it to a grayscale image. So once we have a grayscale image, we then make the dew tone process easier because then all it does is, is take one color, apply it to the black, take another color, apply it to the white, and give a blend of those two colors to any area that's kind of in between. Okay, so everything is just a shade of either black and white. So how do we get to do that? I'm going to take this object and I'm going to add a adjustment layer on there. There's different ways of doing it, but I'm going to add U saturation and luminance, and then I'm going to pull down the saturation. So I'm turning that into a nice grayscale image. So now when we add these dew tones, these two colors, it's going to know I'm looking for black and it will be a lot of this color and the white will be a lot of that color and in between I'll blend it. Okay. I'm repeating myself just for you to understand the concept of why we're actually getting it to a grayscale. So now we've got a grayscale and then I prefer doing this. Uh, other people will just work with these live layers. When I select the two here, uh, right click and I'm going to say Merge Visible. Okay, just make sure that you deselect these other ones. Uh, actually, yeah, let me just deselect those. So I'm going to take these two and I'm going to Merge Visible. So only those two that are visible are going to be merged. So there it's merged. Now I can switch these two off and I'll be still sitting with this image here. So I've merged the two. It's now a single layer. Okay, if I want to go back and modify again, I can go work on these two layers. But pretty much this is what I want. And then that rectangle that I had, I'm going to switch that back on so that it fills the plain background. Okay, now I'm going to go to the image layer and this is where the magic starts. So I'm going to go on to the adjustment layer and I'm going to choose gradient map. Now. You might be thinking, but there is a gradient tool here. Why don't I use it? Because it also can give me different colors. But with a gradient tool, it gives you an opaque layer. Then you've got to use a lot of blending modes to try and get close to what we're doing. The gradient map 
is a gradient of color, but it almost acts like a cellophane. It, it just goes over the image and it allows light to pass through. You'll see what I'm, I mean here. So if I go, if I click gradient map, um, Affinity Photo by default adds three nodes in it. One on the total left, which is for all the black area in your image. One for the total right, which is all the white areas. And it drops a node at 50% in the middle. So anything that's perfectly gray in the middle, it will have whichever color is in that node. We're going to remove that one because we only want it as a dual tone. But you'll see what happens when I pop this in. I'm going to click gradient map. There we go. Okay, just remember that these colors on top here with a swatch don't apply to this. The gradient map has its unique own color selections here. So let's just see what we understand by this. On the left here, this is representing black and on the right represents white. So perfect black, perfect white and all shades in between. Uh, here we've got a node, as I said, it drops in three by default. So it's saying anything that's gray in the image, 50% gray or I would almost call it 100% gray. It will show up as green. Anything that's 100% black in this image will show up as red. 100% white will show up as blue. So we know the background we've made as totally white color. That's why it's showing as blue. Um, all these shades of gray, you'll go from blue through to the red and then all these greens are where we're having these gray tones that have come through. And on the skin here, you can see that it's pulled up lighter colors. So it's more whites that is coming on here. And in the areas here, it's showing up as more grayish colors, darker tones. Okay, but I don't want that in there. I just want two because it's a dew tone. So I can either click on here and press delete, or I can just left mouse button and drag it off and it will do the same thing. So I'm drag off. There we go. Okay, so now at the moment, Everything that's dark is represented as red. And the reason why the f it looks so strange is often because in humans, the face is made up of red tones, the skin tones and everything. So it, it looks very unnatural. Um, so what we're going to do now is this year is the fairer color of a skin, but it's showing more blue. So I'm going to flip this around. Now I can either click in here and click here and go change the colors to that color or whatever color and go do the same there or I can click this reverse button. That's why it's designed here to flip it around based on your image. So I'm going to just click reverse. What this is going to do is is going to move the blue that side and the red this side, which means all the lighter colors in the image will appear red and the darker colors will be appearing blue. Let's go there. Okay, so there you can see now that makes sense. The background is white, so it will appear as perfect red here. The skin has got white in it with a bit of darker pigment so you'll see it appears almost in this middle of the road area and then of course you will get the dark areas appearing quite blue so this would be considered as a dew tone but there are certain colors that are used often as preferential colors so let me just see here these are the two so it's like cyan and magenta so let's see how we can get close to that um, I'm opening this and I'm going to double click here again so cyan, the, the lighter color is, let's see where we're going here. So the lighter color will be on the skin side and the darker color on all the dark areas. So this, the white areas are here, so we're going to go with that tone. If I click here, this is the color that comes. I click in here and it's pretty much these colors. Okay, can you see where we're going to? If we look at this image. Oops, where are we? Those tones. And you, you can play around. Let me just click back on here. You can play around with the, the shades that you're looking at in that area. Okay. But now we want the other areas, which is when it comes to these darker areas, we want them to be uh, like the cyan and magenta combination. So we click there. And what is we're looking at these colors here. Okay. So you see it's pulling up excessive, so we can just pull it a little bit away here yeah? and just make that in that area. Do the selections on them. Or maybe I'll, I'll go in and open up this one. Yeah, let me just do this. But I think this is pretty close. Yeah, you know, I, I think I don't, I wouldn't for practical purposes. I think we, 
we pretty much where we go. If you look at the dark colors, we're getting it through there. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to bother too much on that one. Let me close that window. So I'm going to take this now. I am going to just see if I could, let me see, grab these two. I'm going to say copy and file new from clipboard. Okay, so I'm taking the, I didn't take the, the background, but that's fine. I'm going to drop in, say, a new background. Let me just draw something over here and send it to the back. Okay, the reason it's changing this color is because of the gradient map, of course. Okay, so now we have it here. Let's try just one more color and I think we'll call it a day after that. Um, I think let's go for skin color of being maybe like a yellow tone. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? That is so cool. Okay, so that's your dew tone. And then if you get adventurous, you can just go in and say... Newton, I think that's how it's spelt. Let's just get some bold going on there and maybe change the color to maybe something more on that line. Okay, let's. Okay. There we go. So there's your dew tone image, remember? You're going to change it first to grayscale, preferentially cut it out so that you have a clean background. Uh, it mustn't be too busy. That works always best. Then you drop on a gradient map and you make sure you go from the one color to the other color. And then you have a dew tone. Hopefully you get excited about that. It's a, it's a really cool technique. So you can go from that image to that image. And then of course, you know, you can experiment if you want to with adding a maybe towards this way, a color in here. And in that color, you can add maybe, oh, let's go now. I'm, I'm being a bit excessive, but I think you get the idea of where I'm going to with this is, that's why I'm showing you these techniques so that you can go and experiment. So you could add those levels. Maybe this would be more appropriate with a more, um, a different kind of, yeah, maybe like a gold look. There we go. So you could have that kind of dew tone look. Okay, so happy experimenting and fiddle around with it. Come up with great designs. Dig deeper into it. But now you have the tools in your hand to be able to do the rest. Have a fantastic day and God bless.